And we go into the warm-ups now with Cristiano Ronaldo. Who else? I mean, uh, no great expectations, I think, on Al Khalij overall. Do you think there's a chance they'll be under it? Cristiano Ronaldo and his teammates have played second fiddle to Al Hilal all season in the league, and now they or Al. <laughs> Ever really looking as, as if they are going to close the gap. Al Khalij may not be one of the glamour. And as we talked about, Young at the heart of that midfield, and will the wide players. Have... Maurizio Mariani just waits for the signal. By the way, Daniele Dover gets on the front foot for the first time, regains his footing, doesn't quite land at the feet of Ottavio, wouldn't have counted anyway. No, but already showing. Hellas with the delivery. Sultan Ungaram sending it in, the team who haven't lost all season. It's going to be difficult as Ronaldo fires in the first shot of the match, just pushed away by Sheic. What I really like about this opportunity from Ronaldo is he's already set. So Tell us then. Over it comes. That was a decent looking opportunity. Well, he rarely mistimes the jump, and I think this is all that this is. Gets up well, but he's just slightly on the way down. Teasing, testing, followed closely by rare early opportunity to venture forward here's a chance that fell to Khalid Nare and it came from almost nowhere really suddenly bursting into life what they've done is they flooded the box opening up here pressure being put on Pedro Rebocho's side great chance again the second really Good opportunity of the game already for the home side, and this time it's Ottavio who can't... Ottavio. Dadio Mane. And still, Ronaldo alongside. Opportunity now to venture forward with uh, Mansour Hamzi. Ospina gathers. And it just... Out. Ronaldo. Well, he gets the free kick. Alessandro Lopez, good for them that they've got him in the team, but work to do here. And it's a mistake. And it has been pounced on by Cristiano Ronaldo, who gives Al Nasser the lead. Well, the last thing you can afford to do in a match such as this against opponents such as he is to make a mistake of this magnitude. Well, it was a poor pass back to the goalkeeper and then a rush decision. So, is it going to be two? It's set up and it's saved and somehow ends up over the top and the flag goes up on the far side. What an extraordinary passage of play that was. That was incredible. What a... As he held. This is Mane. And Mane again, what a save that was by Sheic. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The pass picks out Ronaldo, but... Rapid, disciplined defending. Holds him at arm's length for now. Into the penalty area. Mane keeps it alive, and he... ...confident swagger about the way this move is building up. Mane looks for the chance to shoot, and is denied. Conjure an opportunity, and perhaps not. So we... In towards Lopez. Goal kick. Mohamed Bakker waits in the middle. This looks promising, they have to settle for a corner. And uh, there were options there, and not least, Ivo Rodriguez on the... Teles, Ronaldo, saved on the line. Brozovic, Ronaldo once more. Oh, alarm bells ringing very loudly there for Al Khalij. And a very important interception by Pedro, as is that one. Ottavio, close control. They're claiming it's a handball, and the referee says, indeed, it is. It's Sadio Mane for 2-0.
never in any doubt. Confidently dispatched. And Al Nasser putting themselves in a really strong position here in this semi-final before half-time. Well, you have to think that Cristiano Ronaldo has given that to Sadio Mane. And I think the goalkeeper thinks that possibly Mane might go down the middle, which is why he doesn't really move, he doesn't dive either way. It's the wrong decision, because Mane... Here goes Otavio, trying to get away from Mohamed Cabrani. Comfortable header away. Rodriguez now looking to break and still going, trying to force the issue into the box. Challenged by Otavio right on the edge of the box. I think he's really clever here because he knows the positioning of Otavio, so he just steps across him. Just about there, he just stepped. Jung Woo Young strikes it and forward. Is there a chance for number three? There most certainly is, but it won't count anyway as the flag goes up straight away. And uh, Mohamed Bakker into Nare. This is better. Or for uh, Kalish with eight. Rebosho sending it across. He was looking for Lissandro Lopez. This is Ronaldo. And that's beautifully weighted towards Sadio Mane. Full back, but he and his colleagues with work to do here as Ronaldo collects to Ayman Yaya. He just looks for an opening and still looks. Sharp shot, not quite quick enough to get underneath Shage. No, and I think he just tried to use that there was the pass on to Ronaldo or Mar. Um, just need to touch at the far post, and it's in. And it's number three, the second of the night from Ronaldo. Down to the corner flag he goes. Another two for the collection. And surely now a gap too large to close for Al Khalij tonight. And Al Nasser give themselves an excellent opportunity of reaching the final with that third goal early in the second half. Well, they were super patient, weren't they? Al Nasser building through, finding the gap out wide for Al Ghanam. Then when it came across, just a little touch from Yaya. And what a save by the way. Damage done. Bakker. Nari. Flag up anyway. One imagines has got the speed to get away from Lissandro Lopez. Can't get it past. <laughs> Patient, steady build up here. Nari into uh, in towards Ronaldo. Could be a chance here. Otavio Shech with a save. Back with Ronaldo though. Teles. Al Khalij with the player down. Referee's going to check him out. And the physio called on straight Looking away. Looking to get on the board. In it goes. Great chance, and they are on the board. Turned in by Fawaz Al Tarais, the half time substitute. And their hard work and diligence pays off. They have a goal for their efforts, but it's still a long way back at 3 1. And it feels like they deserve it. I think they've shown enough in the game to deserve a goal.